Well, wearing jeans at work may soon be a thing of the past for teachers in Janesville. Tonight, school board leaders will review a draft of the district's dress code. Margot Spann has more on the district's attempt to clean up their look. One sentence to four pages. It's, it's quite a jump. A debate is brewing in Janesville as to what is appropriate attire for teachers. Dave Parr, president of the Janesville Education Association, says the district's proposed dress code policy came out of left field. Is there a problem? We don't believe there is. Um, but if there has been a problem, why hasn't anybody heard about it? Do we have some people that you know would wear uh, their pants below their, their belt line? Yeah, that's just not acceptable. Uh, do we have some people that would wear flip-flops you know, to, to work? Yeah, we've had some people doing that. Under the new proposal, teachers would be required to wear a sport coat, collared shirt and tie, or a polo shirt. There's also rules about skirt length and sundresses. This is actually the draft that we have going right now. Steve Sperry, the district's human resources director, says they want to outline the district's expectations for their employees. As we were working on developing the uh, handbook, our employee handbook, we had decided, let's clean this up. Let's make sure that we have very clear expectations for all of our employees. Sperry says the policy will be enforced at the discretion of the principals or direct supervisor. Parr says the teachers want to dress professionally and provide input on this new proposal. But removing jeans from the wardrobe of their 1,400 members just isn't practical. In a regular school day, um, it's very difficult to do the things we do in a dress or, you know, in dress slacks and a suit. So. The school board is expected to discuss the proposal tonight, though no action is scheduled. The teachers union president is scheduled to meet with the superintendent next week to discuss the proposal further. So they still have some work to do. All right, thanks, Margo.